All right, hello everyone. All right, so in the last video, we started talking about how to format numbers as floating point values, all right? So what we did was we said, we assumed that there was a family um, of, let's say, of six people. So we created a variable called number of people and we set it to six people. And we said that, oh, their father came in one day and said, okay, I have a gift for all of you. So he gave them an amount. So we say amount, or we can say uh, total money. I, we gave it a name, but I'm just going to change the name here. Total um, money, <laughs> that's a funny name, but then total money was around 13,234 or something, something like that. So the father came in and said, okay, take this amount and share it between yourself. So each person, so we basically, we divided this amount by six and we created a variable called amount for each person. And we set it equal to the total money, right? Because if, are, if all six of them are sharing this money, we divide this amount by the number of people. So the total money by the number of people. And we ended up getting, so let's go ahead and use a print function. Display, we, if you display the amount for each person in the print function, we ended up getting um, an amount, right? In this case, something similar to this. But then, this number is long. It had so many decimal, so many numbers after the decimal point. So we learned about a format function. Um, we learned how to format a certain number as a floating point value to, um, to a certain number of decimal places. All right. So we, what we did was we created a format function, and then we pat, we gave it the number to be formatted and how we want it formatted. Now, one cool thing is you can also pass the format function directly into the print function. Remember, we talked about nested functions. Don't worry, we'll talk more about functions and we'll talk, you know, you know we'll, we'll go deeper. We've seen nested functions you know, in, a, in some videos back, right? It was the first look of nest, nested functions. But you can pass that function, the, the format function, in the print function directly. So we learned about the format function and we said the format function takes in a couple of arguments. So first of all, it takes in what you want to format, which is the amount for each person. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pass it into the format function. The format function needs what you want to format. So I've passed that into the format function. It also needs how you want it formatted. We, we talked about the fact that if you type in something like 0.2, that means you want to format it to two decimal places. And also because we want it formatted as a floating point value, we are going to type in the letter F. If you want it to format it as, a, as an integer or as a, as a string or whatever it is, there are different ways to do it. But if you want to format it as a floating point value, you use a letter F for float. And the precision, which is 0.2, comes before the type. 0.2 stands for the precision. Okay, how many decimal places do you want to format it to? If you want to format it to three decimal places, you'd say 0.3. But if, because we want to format it to two decimal places, we would say 0.2. All right, so over here, we are passing the format function directly into the print function. So basically what this reads is print the formatted version of amount for each person as a floating point value to two decimal places, all right? You can do this separately outside, store it in a variable, and then basically type the variable in here. Or you can basically pass the format function directly in here. We are nesting the functions. We are putting one function in another function, the outer function, the print function. We are putting the format function in the print function. Makes sense. That's another cool thing you can do. Again, we'll learn more about uh, functions. You can do this separately, or you can put it into, or you can nest it. All right. So let's talk about how to format the amount, okay, as a decimal, sorry, as a, as a monetary value, like a dollar amount with commas in between, right? We have the amount that each person is going to get, but we need to format it in a way that is, um, in a way that is, that, that looks like a dollar amount. And so in order to not to confuse you for now, in the future we'll nest it, but in order not to confuse, I just wanted to show you this. I'm going to basically cut this value and then store it in a separate variable. So I'm going to create a variable and, and call it formatted, right? Formatted amount for each person. And then set it equal to what I just cut and paste it. So I'm storing in formatted amount for each person, the formatted version of amount for each person to do to, to, to two decimal places as a as a float. And I have it here. Alright, so I want to, before I even go ahead and print out what is stored in formatted amount for each person, let's go ahead and format this as a floating point, uh, sorry, as a floating point value, but also as a monetary value with commas separating them. 
And so if you want it to automatically put commas in, uh, in between the numbers, you just place a comma right before the position before the type. Let the comma be the first thing right before the position before the type. Okay? And if the amount is this, it's going to automatically do that. You don't have to worry about it. If it's a monetary value, it's going to auto automatically put commas where necessary. It's going to do it for you. So the comma is the first thing before the precision, the point two or the point three or whatever you want to, um, how many, however many decimal places you want to format it to. And then the type, okay, of data you want it, want it formatted as. Sorry, yeah, the type of data you want it formatted as, all right? So when I ra run this, well, um, sorry, I was about to say when I run this. Let's go ahead and print out the formatted amount for each person. Let's print it out and then run it. So now when we run this, we should expect that there are commas placed in this amount automatically. When I run this, you can see that there's a comma here. First of all, it's been rounded to two decimal places as a floating point value. And you see commas has been placed in there automatically. If this amount was $2 million, it would automatically put you know commas in there automatically. If it was a billion dollars, it would automatically put commas, let's say, after every three values and so on and so forth. That's it. That's all there is to it. You put comma as a, a comma as the first thing, and it's going to put commas in your value where necessary. All right. We may also need a dollar sign in front of it, right? So that's very simple. That's just a string that we, we put in our in our in our display or what whatever we want. So the, the way we want to make this finally look like, the way we, we make this com look complete like, as a monetary value is we create another argument. I'm going to have a comma here. Remember when you pass in multiple arguments into the print function, they are displayed with a space separate in them. So I'm going to create a string and say amount for each person is, and I'm going to have a dollar sign right here, right in front. So now I've passed in two, mo two multiple arguments into the print function, okay? I pass in two arguments. This is the first argument, and there's a comma separating them, and this is the second argument. By default, when you pass in multiple arguments into the print function, they are displayed with a space separating them. And so this is going to read amount for each person is dollar signs, um, space formatting amount for each person. All right. We know there's a space separating them, right? So let's go ahead and run this. Actually, we're going to fi find a problem because the arguments are separated with a space, uh, with a, they are sorry, they are separated with a space. We see there's a space between this first argument and the second argument. So the way we can actually do it, so some, sometimes you'll be doing this, right? But the way you can actually do it is, is, is either we set the separator value to no, you know, no space, we can do that. We can change the separator value to nothing, right? Because the separator is a space by default. We learned about this. So we, can, we can change the separator value to nothing which means change the default space that you use, to, you use to separate these values from a space to nothing. And so when I run this, we see that the space is gone. That's one way to do it. I'm going to take this back and then we'll learn another way. Another way is that we, instead of typing the dollar sign here, we can, because this is a string, because the, fo the format function returns a string, we know this is a string. And so we can concatenate to strings. We can create a dollar sign as a string and then concatenate. We can we learned about this too. We can conca concatenate a string to a string because we know the format function returns a string. So this entire string becomes a second argument. So when we run this, the dollar sign is right. It cl it's close to the amount. All right. So if you don't understand the separator, please um, go back and watch. Um, wo just go back a few videos and watch the separator and the separator video and how it works. And if you don't understand concatenation, also there's a video on, con on concatenation and it talks about it. Um, so yeah, this is how to format um, m uh, numbers as uh, monetary, uh, monetary values. <laughs> I'm in the library and I think it's closing soon. So that's why, I'm, that's why I was rushing. If not, I would have taken my time to explain it even further. But don't worry, we'll, we'll work more with the format function and um, we'll get comfortable with it. We'll play around with it and, and learn more about it and get, get comfortable with it. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.